so at Blizzard, um, my title's the Chief Creative Officer, and my history at Blizzard has really been in game design. So I started at Blizzard um, 16 years ago, this month actually, and my start was on the original StarCraft. So with StarCraft, I came in and um, and a lot of my feedback really f centered around game balance because I would play the game all day and you know really work with the design team to try to figure out you know how to balance the three races against one another. And once we shipped the game, I became the lead designer on the expansion set StarCraft Brood War. After that, you know I went on to Warcraft Three, and at that point the studio was starting to expand you know into two different teams. One team was Warcraft Three, the other team um, would eventually become the World of Warcraft team, but originally they were doing a different game and then we changed direction. Um, and then I switched on to World of Warcraft as a lead designer. Um, and then at that point, the studio was expanding greatly, and my role started to shift a lot more because um, you know the studio really needed me to focus on multiple projects rather than just one project. So now, you know, the studio, I think we have, I don't know, four to five different game teams of different sizes, and my responsibility is uh, you know really to be helping out in the game design and the game direction across all of them. But my primary focus now is is probably right this minute on uh, Hearthstone and World of Warcraft the most, but that changes. It's pretty amazing, actually, to have World of Warcraft be nine years old. Um, obviously, I think when we first created it, not only did we not know how big it was going to eventually get, but we weren't sure how long it would last. And I think what we've really been starting to look at more and more over the years is, well, why don't we develop the game like, it, you know, it's a virtual world where it's a playground where people can kind of do these new experiences. And what we've really been trying to do as much as possible as we expand it is try to add, you know, new features that, you know, give you the opportunity to have new gameplay, but within this virtual world that all your friends already exist in. So, so, you know, obviously there's always the, the graphics challenge that the game will look a little bit more dated because it's older, but I think we've had a really good strategy where, you know, we continue to kind of update the graphics, you know, with uh, Mist of Pandaria, you know, the environments I, I think were as good looking as any other game that you've seen. And one of the things we really want to do with Warlords of Draenor is update all the player character models because the player character models are, are actually over nine years old because we did them even before we released the game. So we thought this would be a great opportunity opportunity to redo probably the oldest looking part of the game and, and hopefully make it look a lot more modern. So just today we, um, we announced the new expansion to World of Warcraft. It's called Warlords of Draenor. And the thing that's uh, really exciting about this expansion is, is really the setting and the major characters. What we wanted to do was we realized with uh, World of Warcraft, a lot of the players that came into the Warcraft franchise through World of Warcraft, they'd never really seen a lot of the origin characters, you know, especially the, the big orc warlords like Gul'dan and Gromash Hellscream and Korgrath Bladefist, you know, all these characters that, um, you know, really existed back in the Warcraft 1 and 2 days. So with the Warlords of Draenor, we're, we're bringing that character set and that setting back into World of Warcraft so all these players can, can experience it. So that's probably the most exciting thing about the expansion, but we also have some really interesting cool features. Um, probably the most exciting feature is the garrisons. So with garrisons, um, we're creating um, this is kind of a form of player housing almost in World of Warcraft. So in the new uh, land of Draenor, you can create a base for yourself, which is called a garrison. And with this garrison, you'll be able to build it out. You'll be able to expand on it. You'll be able to customize it. You'll be able to hire like followers and NPCs that can go on quests for you. So we're really excited about that feature. Another thing that's really unique about the new expansion is if you're a player that doesn't already have a level 90 character, then you'll be able to boost one of your characters to level 90 when you buy the expansion. And we feel like that's going to be really great for the player base because one of the challenges that we've had with um, WoW over the years has been that if, let's say, you played WoW two expansions ago and your friends are going to go out and get the, the new expansion, you really don't have an easy way to play with them because you might have to play 15, you may be 15 levels behind them. So what we really want to do now with Warlords of Draenor is give you the opportunity to come back to World of Warcraft and, and start with everyone else. What, you know, it's been really exciting for me. Um, getting focused on World of Warcraft again, um, because after Wrath of the Lich King, I ended up really focusing on other projects. Um, so it's only been since Mist of Pandaria that I've gotten really involved again. And it's, it's been really exciting getting back into WoW. It's like coming back home. And the focus for, for me on that project is, um, 
you know, now that we are nine years in, what are kind of exciting and new things that we can be doing with this game? And a lot of what I've been doing with the team is trying to plan out like a, a multi-year roadmap. You know, in the past, what we've really done a lot of is, um, you know, once we finish an expansion is when we figure out the next expansion. So what we want to do now is, well, what if we plan multiple expansions in advance and multiple content patches in, a, in advance and really um, try to come up with really cool features that maybe we couldn't do in the context of one expansion. But if we know that we're doing um, two years in advance, we can tackle more interesting, innovative features. The future of uh, Warcraft is, is really bright. You know, we have three big things happening in the Warcraft universe. We have uh, Hearthstone, you know, which we've been talking a lot about. We have uh, World of Warcraft, and we have the Warcraft movie, which, you know, we have a release date for in December of 2015. With the uh, Warcraft movie, we've been uh, we're super excited that we're finally going to have have it released. You know, it's been something we've been working on since 2006. You know, trying to get the right script, the right people involved, and it's been really exciting for us because uh, now that Duncan Jones is the director and he's done a rewrite of the script, and we have a lot of other uh, really top people working on it. Like uh, another good example is Bill Westenhofer, who's the special effects supervisor. That not only did he win an Oscar for A Life of Pi, but more importantly he has a level 90 character in World of Warcraft so we just you know we're very enthusiastic that the Warcraft franchise is going to be a film and it's in the right people's hands oh <laughs> so yeah with uh, I think it's always been uh, kind of an interesting dream of ours to one day do a Warcraft 4, but we don't really have any plans right now. You know, it's been um, the team that does the RTS games, you know, they did uh, StarCraft 2, obviously, and now they're focused on Heroes of the Storm. And I think it'd be really cool if they did a Warcraft 4, but no promises. We'll have to see what that team decides they want to do when, when they have the ability to do a new game. With StarCraft II, our plan is to uh, release Legacy of the Void, and then after that, um, we currently don't have any plans beyond that. You know, what we generally do at Blizzard is once a development team kind of finishes up whatever game they're working on, and, and let's just say if they're doing expansions, expansion sets, it's really around that time that they kind of get to decide what's going to be the next product. So the question for them is really going to be, you know, do they want to continue down the StarCraft franchise, or, or do they want to do something new? With the next-gen consoles, uh, our big plans right now are with Reaper of Souls. Our plan is to uh, take the new Diablo expansion along with uh, Diablo 3 and then release it on the PlayStation 4. So we're super excited about the next-gen consoles, but you know, for us, you know, we've always been much more focused on PC. With um, the only product that we're currently planning on putting on the next-gen consoles is the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls title. We don't have anything, any other console titles in development. been really exciting with uh, Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm because we're experimenting in new areas. You know, both games are going to be free-to-play games, and with Hearthstone, we're also going on to mobile devices. And um, I can't really say for sure what's going to happen beyond that because a lot of it's really going to depend on those games and how successful they were. If those games are, you know, super successful in those formats, I can imagine Blizzard doing more stuff like that in the future. The, one of the big challenges at Blizzard actually is um, trying to decide do we continue making games for our current franchises versus do we create a new franchise. And while there's always you know a lot of excitement internally to maybe uh, do a new franchise, right now we're really focused on, on the three major franchises plus kind of blending them with Heroes of the Storm.